It's Hannah here. I guess we're starting that way. Ignore the lipstick that's on my teeth. I did not know it was there. And yeah, let's just move past that and continue. Thanks for coming to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this very catty fox eye, very Middle Eastern inspired eye makeup look. But before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I do post new videos on here every week. Also, follow me on Instagram at the Hannah Ali because a lot of times I do preview looks on there or ask you guys what looks you'd like to see. So definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram at the Hannah Ali. But if you guys want to see how I got this look, right then let's get straight into the video. So to prime my face, I'm going to take the Pure Canvas Blurring Primer from Laura Mercier and then I'm going to take the Foundation Dream Urban Coverage from Maybelline in the shade 220. This is a really great everyday foundation with SPF 50 in it. Now I'm going to take the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder in the shade 5 if I'm not mistaken and I like to just fill in my brows like this just because I don't get my brows groomed because of quarantine so they're already pretty full at this point so I'm just lightly sprucing them up. Taking my Fenty Beauty shade 280 concealer, I'm just going to conceal under their eyes using the concealer brush from Fenty Beauty as well. And I'll make sure to link everything down below of what I used. So I usually use the Tati Beauty Blendiful, but I've really liked using this concealer brush lately. Taking my Dragon Beauty Dragon Heart Transformation Powder, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that under the eyes and on the high points of my face to really just brighten the face. I'm going to take the new Rust Palette from Melt Cosmetics. This is my first time using this palette. And boy oh boy, it is so pretty. It blends out so well. Taking that shadow brush, I'm just gonna create a winged liner with eyeshadow because this is that fox, very like smoky winged effect. You could use liquid liner if you wanted to, but I feel like the eyeshadow it just looks more sultry and so much. I don't know, it just gives that really sultry effect using eyeshadow instead of a normal liquid liner. But it's of course personal preference. Then you're just going to go ahead and just smudge it out a little bit. And then taking the darker shadow, I'm going to just apply it on close to my lower lash line to really create that winged, you know, cat effect. Taking my favorite Hula Benefit bronzer i'm gonna bronze up the skin this bronzer has always been my go-to lately i've been switching between this one and the galactic cobble bronzer but hula is definitely like my go-to bronzer when i really want to get that bronze look and i use it as a contour as well as you can tell taking the mood exposure blush from hourglass this is also a very pretty blush it is from their ambient powder line and it's so beautiful on the skin i love it Taking the Morphe Hollywood Hills Lashes. These are just super natural but very pretty, pretty lashes. So I usually pair these lashes with almost every look at this point because I'm not really into the thick band and I'm all about using no mink lashes. These are 100% synthetic. Taking my favorite highlighter, which is the Golden Dew Skin Gloss from Dominique Cosmetics. It is such a natural illuminating from within kind of highlight look how pretty it is and i also use it on my cupid's bow i'm going to line my lips with the sweet tea lip liner from morphe this is such such a pretty go-to liner i love using this I, I always tend to go back to this liner and mix it with all my nude combinations that i always kind of do but this is just a pretty contour color. It's not too dark or too light. It's just perfect in the middle. And I love lining my lips with it. Even if I'm just applying lipstick or just a gloss, it is such a pretty liner. I'm 
I'm gonna go in with my Kiki WB Nude 1 lipstick. This was my first love when it came to a nude lipstick. And mixing this with the Sweet Tea lip liner, it is such a pretty combination on my skin tone and my complexion. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I could be as helpful as possible on how to create this very fox I look very catty, Middle Eastern inspired makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, follow me on Instagram at thehennaalmi. And let me know down in the comment section below what other makeup looks you guys would like to see or any other video suggestions you have that you guys would like me to do. Alright guys, that is it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.